What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show. In 2018, Analog produced their follow-up to the successful NES FPGA console, the NT Mini. This console is known as the Super NT, an FPGA console that can play Super Nintendo games with remarkable accuracy. One of the most badly kept secrets about Analog products is they tend to get jailbroken a bit after release. This was definitely the case with the Super NT. Jailbreaking your console will allow you to play ROM files off of the SD card, as well as give you a few extra features. In this video, I will walk you through how to jailbreak your Super NT. Link to the tools used in the description below. In order to get started, you will need an SD card that is 2GB or more. I personally recommend that you get something that's closer to 32GB in size. This will allow you to put just about every possible SNES ROM onto the card with a little extra headspace. You'll need to format the card as FAT32. If you have a card that is larger than 32GB, you will need to use a formatter tool. The tool that I use is FAT32 Format. Download the formatter, then format the SD card, renaming it something that you can remember. In this example, I used super underscore NT. Once the SD card is settled, head to the Smoke Monster GitHub for the Super NT jailbreak. Click on the Go to File button on the page. On the next page, scroll down to the most recent jailbreak file, which is of the time of this video, version 7.0. Click on the link and you will be taken to the next page that will allow you to download the zip. Open up the zip file, then extract the contents of the zip onto the root of your SD card. You may now place the SD card back into the Super NT and begin the process of jailbreaking it. Power on the Super NT and the LED should turn red, then rapidly begin to flash. This entire process will take about two to three minutes. Do not power off your console during this process. The Super NT has been deemed unbreakable, but still, follow these precautions. As the flashing process nears its completion, there will be a pause on the LED, followed by the HDMI signal of the Super NT cutting out. The console will boot back to the main menu once the process is complete. Once the process of flashing the Super NT is complete, delete the firmware off of the SD card. Once you've deleted the firmware, create a folder named SNES on the root of your SD card. Place all of the SNES ROM files that you have legally obtained into the folder. Under the BIOS folder, you will need to search for and add the .bin ROMs to get enhancement chip games working. Here are the file names of each, along with the respective CRC32 values. Once found and added, you can place your SD card back into the console. Upon powering on the console, you will see that a new option known as Browse SD Card has been added to the menu. Selecting Confirm on this option will take you to a disclaimer, then allow you to browse your SD card to play your SNES ROM files. If you press the up and select buttons together while in a game, it'll perform a system reset in a similar manner to when playing a game cartridge. Something that few people know is that you can play NES games using the Super NT. This is via an emulator known as Project Nested. The project was started in 2018 by a developer known as Myself86 
and has seen a few updates since. In order to run these games, you will need to use his included tool to convert .NES files to .SMC files. This process will require trial and error per game to get working, and the mapper support is limited. Support for saving your games directly to the SD card has been added. In order to do this, you must first enable it in the menu. Press down and select to bring up the Super NT menu, then press the Start button. Navigate to System, then Menu Options. Tick the Options Prompt when saving RAM and Save Warning Message. Finally, press the B button twice to go back a few pages, then scroll down to save your settings onto the console. When you're in a game, you can now press down and select to bring up the Super NT menu to save. Upon backing out to the menu, a prompt will now pop up asking you if you would like to save. Select yes to confirm and save the state of the RAM. These files will be saved as .sav files and will be located in the saves slash SNES folder. If you have an SD card for the SD2 SNES, FX Pack Pro, or the Super EverDrive, these cards may also be used with the jailbreak, complete with the same saving process. For the SD2 SNES and FX Pack Pro, saves will be stored to the SD2 SNES slash saves folder. There are a few extra settings that have been unlocked once you install the jailbreak. Under Tools, you will see that Copy SNES has been added. Copy SNES allows you to dump your SNES games onto the console for preservation. This is achieved by saving the state of the ROM and save RAM data. This tool is great if you manage to come upon prototype games that have not been preserved, or if you need to back up your cart in order to change its coin cell battery. These files will be saved as .sfc and .srm. They will be located on the saves slash copy SNES folder. Under copy SNES, you will see the option to play SPC files. This is an extra core that will allow you to listen to Super Nintendo music files, provided if you have them. The files that are supported are both .spc and .sp2. They will need to be placed into the SPC folder. I'd like to give a shout out to my man Firebrand X. This man has selfless dedication to making sure the community has the best settings for their upscalers, as well as analog products. If you'd like to check him out, I'll leave a link to his YouTube page down in the description below. His most recent video is on getting the best settings on your Super NT. After this video, check him out and get those beautiful crisp pixels. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. What's your favorite Super Nintendo game? Do you have a game on this system that you would like to recommend? Any questions for me concerning this video? Let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, consider dropping a sub or a like. Also, why not check this video out? Peace.